I got a chance to do a little shopping at Ulta. So I want to show you what I got first. And dun, 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 dun. finally, the Urban Decay Nocturnal Shadow Box. And it's a brand new. I haven't even touched it yet. So we are going to use this palette and some other mixed products and let's see how we can finish this face off. Sometimes I'll actually go in with black around my hairline. Okay, there we go. Probably speed this up, so. Now, as I kind of did this, I, I see that it's kind of, oh, I'm really kind of, kind of there. Oh, okay, we'll blend, 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 blend. I don't even know where this came from, but this comes in handy for gray contouring too. Because it's. <laughs> and then I'll use something like this. A little bit. Ah! I'm dropping everything today. Oh, I like sitting on my feet and they're kind of obviously on me. Okay, now I'm looking at my eyes and I'm thinking, what do I want to do? And I mean, just looking at this palette, it's screaming all kinds of ideas at me already. So I'm just going to try this brush that comes with it. Looks like it sounds good for you know, going right around your eyes. This one's fluffier. So, okay. I'm gonna come in and use this grayish as like a, my transition color. You know, obviously I kinda paint upwards a little. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Nothing dramatic. But okay, and I'm going in with the gray a little bit under my eyes too. And this eyeshadow is great so far. I mean I just like took a little dab. I barely even touched it and it's just really nice and pigmented i mean there is just color gore so you know a little bit definitely goes a long way with this you know i this is the first you know urban decay palette that i actually have I know, oh my god, I'm, uh, I think I have a lot of lipstick from Urban Decay, but like, oh my god, I'm going to version. 
Since the lipsticks that I'm gonna be using are uh, bluish, I should probably do something with more of that in mind. Okay, let me just like try to like soften these brows. They're just kind of throwing that groove off. Okay, there. I just took this white pencil and I went around them to kind of smooth them out a little bit and try to get them kind of more even. Okay, I do. I have to somehow get some glitter in there because we're going to be using a bluish lipstick. So. Okay, there's really dark blue lip liner. Kind of a little funky in some places, but I think it'll be okay. Well, we'll make it be okay. 
So I think. No, where did it go? That's silly. The where'd you go? What's that? Oh, okay, let's try this. It's like, is it blue? Is it gray? Is it like somewhere in between? But yeah, I like it. I like using a darker lip liner and then using uh, a lighter lipstick. And trying to think of This is the uh, Sex Bomb 2 from um, NYX. As I said, I was going to be using a lot of NYX products today, so I just dab that kind of stuff. One of the eyeshadows, the champagne kind of looking one. Okay, let's. Always remember to be very gentle when you're doing anything around your eyes. And let's see, this is just a sample, but it's a Stella Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. This is a little sample, and you know, it's been lasting me for a while, and I actually like it. So, let's see. Put a 
little on the top first. Going out, covering every hair that you can. Okay, and same thing on the other side. I'm just trying to get some on the top part of the lashes and then get under and with this brush, you just really want to wiggle and get between all those hairs. I don't find that it's really even necessary to use an eyelash curler, you know, I've just never used them. I just kind of, you know, hold my mascara, kind of the wand, I just kind of hold my lashes up a little bit with it, and that seems work for me. Oh, okay, that seems to be like a healthy coating of uh, uh, mascara. Dry, 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 dry. Oh. Oh, okay, I think I'll just put it down with gloss on my lips. Seems to just be more of taking the lipstick off. Okay, on the top, so I'm gonna use Broadway 138. Okay. Yeah, I've used these babies before. Okay, and just put a very fine layer of glue on there. But that's it. Okay, there's a little bit of excess glue, but I'll just let these dry and then I'll put on a little black eyeliner so that it doesn't look a little funny. Okay, yeah. Super fat eye marker, which this is good for eyebrows too, but I don't know, I just grabbed that other stuff. Today, so I just went with it and you know sometimes you know I didn't put black eyeliner on first but 
you know, sometimes I like to just even add kind of a little shadow effect of the lashes and just, you know, try to make sure that they, you know, kind of blend in as much as with my real lashes as possible. And just a little portion of the cat eye kind of going up. And some shadows down here. That spot does not want to cover up. I don't know what its deal is. It's just not plain fair. Um, all right, last, last thing. I'm gonna just put a little black eyeshadow on there. finally reached the 50 subscribers so if you want to enter the contest go to the video that says the 50 subscriber giveaway uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because if you're not you're not gonna win <laughs> and just say you know enter me or I'd like to win or I'm in or whatever you want to put just let me know that you're interested in the contest and you'll be entered and uh you know i'll give like 30 days for that to just uh you know because any new subscribers that want to come in and enter so stay sexy stay spooky and stay tuned for more Cinderella. peace